Remove the power from the 5800. Unlatch the side pump cover. Remove the suction line from the tubing coupler. Loosen the thumb screw that secures the liquid detector cover. Pull the pump tubing off of the bulkhead fitting and open the top latch that secures the pump band. Remove the pump tubing. Clean out any silicone buildup off of the pump rollers or pump band. Replacement tubing for models 5800, 6712, and Avalanche come in packages of pre-cut tube bundles. Install the tubing coupler into the new pump tubing on the end that is closest to the blue bands. Feed the opposite end of the pump tubing into the top groove of the liquid detector and above the pump rollers. Continue to feed the pump tubing through the bottom of the pump and exit through the bottom groove of the liquid detector. Align the blue bands to fit into the grooves of the liquid detector base and close the liquid detector cover by tightening the thumb screw. Secure the pump band by connecting it to the band latch and pressing down to tighten the latch. Connect the lower pump tube end to the bulkhead fitting on the 5800 and connect the suction line to the tubing coupler. Close and latch the side pump cover. Reapply power and then turn the unit back on. To test the pump in reverse, press the 1 key followed by Enter. Press the red stop key. Test pump forward by pressing the 3 key followed by Enter. Press the red stop key. To reset the pump tubing counter, arrow over to Configure and press Enter. Press the left arrow key six times until you see Tubing Life and press Enter. The Tubing Life warning setting will be shown. Then press Enter to exit out of the warning screen. Press Enter, then press the arrow key to select Yes and press Enter. Press Enter again to reset the pump counter. Press the red stop key to finalize. Pump tube replacement is now complete.